Blending is the second most important step when making your sea moss gel. There are two very important factors that you have to pay attention to. How much water you decide to add is up to you. The more water you use, the thinner and less potent your sea moss gel will be. The less water you use, the thicker and more potent. Some people like their sea moss gel thicker, some people like it thinner. It's 100% your preference. Always start with adding a little water at first. Add too much water at the beginning. Once you press the blend button, you're not going to be able to take that water out. Number two you should use a decent quality blender the blender i have here is a blend tech it's not expensive we bought it from walmart years ago it works great and i always blend my sea mouse gel for 90 seconds which is a minute and 30 seconds a lot of people complain that oh my sea mouse gel it wasn't smooth it was still chunky either you didn't have a good enough blender or you did not blend it long enough